Well, believe it or not, people have been required to recycle in New York since 1989. It's one of those laws that is not heavily enforced. More than half of all the recyclables that are produced in New York City are still thrown out in the trash. Even at the relatively modest recycling rates the city achieves today, there's still an enormous amount of material. And so that both justifies and actually requires us to put in a lot more sorting equipment than, uh, than one would typically find. We're doing about uh, five, six hundred tons a day here. We have another facility in Jersey where we run another 300 tons a day or so. We're getting about 900 tons a day of this material. Our process consists of taking that mixture of material we get from the curb and we run that through the processing system which consists of a very large slow speed shredder which opens up all the bags and disentangles everything, disc screens which are used to screen away all the glass. The magnets are pulling off all the ferrous metal which we then further separate into a tin can fraction and anything that's ferrous metal but not a tin can. Ballistic separators are separating two-dimensional from three-dimensional material, and then a whole sequence of optical sorters to eject various grades of plastics as well as cartons. Basically that camera, using near infrared light, is taking a photograph of every single object on the conveyor belt. This one is looking for PET plastic. It tells which air jet to fire will actually fire on that PET bottle and eject it onto two conveyors. I think actually we have about two miles, more than two miles of conveyors in that plant. We do as, as good a job as we can with the mechanical system. We have this last manual quality control system. These guys are either looking at something that's trash that shouldn't be in there, or something that's a different commodity like aluminum that shouldn't be in there either, but we want to recover. We actually spend a huge amount of time and money just getting the plastic bags away from the other recyclables. And then it ends up, it's a residue going to a landfill. The materials might be in our system from two to 10 minutes from the time it's pushed into the infeed conveyor to the time it's pushed out of the back end as either a baled product or a bulk material to be sold. Fascinating is that this is just one step in the process. You then follow that bottle on to the next where it's being ground, washed, flaked, pelletized. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. We're a private company, for-profit company, and we're, we're in the commodity business, but, but the recycling industry, as far as I'm concerned anyway, is inherently part of the sustainability economy. It's not specific to New York, there's a larger wave that, that isn't going away in terms of awareness about environmental issues. I do think New York is going to get its act together in the recycling world.